We'd like to introduce a new phenomenon called Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. Has your sex life gotten, frankly, boring? What does it really take to find love? I can tell you. Why are you always with liars? It's so clear. Why do you always date people younger than you? Mm. This video answers all those questions. Those eight numbers in your birthday are like a soul security number. I can find out everything about you. Secrets of Birthdays, now available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hi there, Ambassador Gemini. Welcome now to Tuesday and thank you for logging in. Sunny and industrious today for the twins of the Zodiac. The moon is still in Cancer, so emotional focus is on soul capital, and more importantly, abundance. Today's a great day to invest in drawing in abundance, drawing an opportunity that leads to abundance. That's why I say industrious. Time to really put your heart into making things happen for you. Now, zoom into the sun. We're in chapter three of Sun and Taurus, almost complete now. Mars ruling the day, adding aggressive masculine testosterone sort of energy to the issue of the month, which is your weed. So you might be a little bit irritable. You might be over it today. And if that's the case, you want to act on that. You want to take advantage of that energy. You want to take action. Action that will lead to greater faith in yourself. Action that will lead to the elimination of issues in your subconscious that sabotage your potential. So remember, light casting is not just drawing an opportunity. It is acting on that opportunity once it comes. And if you haven't drawn in the opportunity, it's taking steps toward potential opportunity. So take some steps. Show the universe you are serious. Also, some fears bubbling up. You may be facing some fears in the next three to five days when it comes to the person you want to become, this new ego and charisma you want to step into, and the shifts that are going to happen in your career and legacy, the paradigm shift, seeing your career legacy in new light. So in order to see your career in new light, you're going to have to see yourself and your personality in a new light, and you're going to have to face fears that come up between the two of those. Now, for those of you who have Gemini risings, I do want to point out how this differs from a sun sign reading. When you check your horoscope with Soul Garden, you're getting a sun sign reading for the most part, which is telling you what's going on in this 30 days, the 30 days of Gemini, the 30 days of Cancer, etc., etc. When you look up your rising sign, what you can find out is what's going on in your life so far. Okay, so for those of you who have Gemini risings, so far in your life, you're making a pretty big change in your current legacy, one that may last five to 10 years. The changes in a rising sign horoscope are deeper, more subtle, yet probably more profound in the context of your lifetime changes. So Gemini risings are making deep but subtle changes in their career and legacy. Gemini risings are also facing fears between their personality and also that career legacy. And Gemini risings are getting rid of some fears that have probably gone all the way back to childhood. And that's the one thing. When we're facing fears, it usually goes back to childhood regardless of rising or sun. So if you don't know your rising sign, we've got staff at soulguard.tv to help you. They're called Zodiac Directors. We have a Gemini Zodiac Director who is a Gemini. And she will help you find your rising sign and find other information that might help you with your astrology. And that is, of course, free for all members at soulguard.tv. All right, Gemini, that's all I have for the day. Tomorrow I'm back to talk about the moon shifting into Leo. Until then, live love, V. So go.